Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, where the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. We also do inspirational stories and we do some Tech Tuesdays here. Uh, we always like to do these Tech Tuesdays to help you guys out there that may be just starting out or you've been doing this for a while and just uh, ran into some issues, uh, kind of like we do. Uh, no matter how long you've done this, uh, sometimes you do run into some issues and need some helpful tips, so that's what we try to do. Um, so today we're going to be talking about some of the editing programs that we use and we're going to be talking about Shotcut. And what we're going to be talking about as far as some of your older recordings or your videos that you've shot maybe with a camera, a uh, handheld, uh, you know, older device, uh, and you know, even your phone, whatever it may be, depending upon your recording, um, features and settings that are on that and depending upon how you set it. Uh, we've talked about using DaVinci a lot and DaVinci is great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but this segment here is to help you out with transferring these files and actually getting them to play and edit them on DaVinci. So we actually use shortcut for this. Um, so what I'm talking about is here's a video that we took way back, um, in 2009. Um, and as you see this, the, the video that was saved, it was saved as an AVI, uh, file. This is actually on an older camera and many cameras you can, of course, set them, you know, back then you couldn't even, you know, put them on an MP3, MP4, uh, but this is an AVI file. So basically what you do is this is one of our programs that we utilize and we save them on there and then we re-download them from there. But once that's downloaded on your computer, and you want to transfer that onto Shotcut. I'll show you that in the next screen. Okay, so you'll see that Shotcut we have here um, in the next screen. As I said, free program, great program. Um, we use this program all the time um, to you know, convert files. Uh, they, they actually allow you to do a lot more converting. I know sometimes it seems like it, you know, it takes a couple more steps or you know, maybe a little more tedious work, but it actually goes fairly quickly. So as I said, in that one uh, folder, the AVI, if you wanted to just go in there, transfer it into your shortcut, and once it's in the shortcut, you'll see um, in the next segment, I'll show you it transferred into shortcut. Once I drag it over, I'll pull it into the shortcut, and you'll see the AVI video in there. And it will play, of course, on your shortcut because they pretty much play everything. You don't need an MP3, MP4, um or any of those those parameters within that you can play mob videos anything in shotcut and then export it so that's what i'm going to show you next okay so i'm on the next screen here and you'll see the video the avi video is here um within shotcut you can see it right there um the uh m mvi avi uh that's the more or less the uh number it put underneath the, the file to save it, but it's an AVI video. All you wanna do is go into your, uh, just scroll this down here, and you'll see there's a number of different, uh, you know, things you can actually, you know, export them to, but we just want YouTube. Uh, that, that actually records it at a good, um, good resolution, and it'll export it into a file that is, you know, either an MP4, MP3, however you want to convert it. But we'll get into more of that tech side if you have additional questions. Put it in the uh, the comments and or email us the question because then that way we'll put them into a different segment and relate the video topic to that uh, question that you may have. So just click the export. Once you export it, then of course your files will come up and then you just name it, put it in that file wherever you want it. And then it'll convert it into the, uh, if you have it set for an MP3 or MP4 or lower resolution to, um, you know, maybe you're putting it on a website, whatever it may be. Um, but th this also does high resolution too as well. But that's just the simple way of converting AVI, mob videos, whatever it may be, Shotcut will convert it. And then it's able to be utilized if you're using DaVinci. Um, and you in DaVinci, you won't get the, red uh screen it says oh your video is you know not working or it won't work or or if you drug and drop it over into davinci and it says oh it doesn't doesn't work or won't play and it just shows you the media out of out of play that's why it just doesn't doesn't want to read those 
So I know this is a little bit of a longer segment, but I kind of want to go a little bit more in depth why we're covering this. And um, we've had a lot of questions in regards to this about converting the videos or some of your older videos. And Shotcut is a great uh, program to utilize. And then if you want to use a, a, you know, another program to edit or even Shotcut to edit it, you can use either or. Uh, but we hope this helps and we'll see you on the next segment.